Are you unable to wake up without coffee? I mean really, wake up, wake up, wake up. Be fresh, feel like today is worth living. Don't worry, you're not alone. 90% of people who drink coffee regularly cannot wake up without it either. I just made that up, but it doesn't matter. You know that it has a ring of truth to it. So why do you do it? Why do you let coffee decide whether you feel like a zombie or normal? I say normal because your normal has now just become the state of you having caffeine in your system. Just like a drug addict needs his daily dose just to feel okay, you need the caffeine in your brain to function like a proper human being. Because as sure as X is X, if you don't get that cup of joe in the morning, your day will not be nice. You will not be nice. Life will not be nice. Let's try to change this. So my plan is to mix regular coffee with decaf coffee. Yeah, I bought a big pile of it. I will slowly lower the amount of regular coffee that I drink and slowly increase the amount of decaf coffee I drink. It's genius, right? One thing to note about decaf coffee is that there is actually some caffeine in it. It says here, max caffeine content 0.10%. Right, so so that so so that that's basically nothing. <laughs> but I feel like it would be way easier to switch into drinking decaf coffee than to stop it altogether. So I am going to stop it altogether. Today's the first day, and I already failed. I was like, hey. Why don't I just drink a big cup of green tea instead of less coffee? And it sounded like a good idea in my head. Now it's backfiring. It's 10.42 a.m. and I'm annoyed. I have a slight minor headache. So uh, I need to be way more subtle about this. Yeah, so uh, believe it or not, today I was supposed to start the no caffeine thing again. Okay, so why did 12 days pass from the first time that I tried the challenge to the second time? First I sort of went traveling and it's kind of harder to do it when you're not home. It's not impossible, but truth to be told I kind of forgot about the whole thing. Then I went camping and I just thought that I, I will start the challenge when I get back from the camping trip. But the next day I found myself to be sick. Well, I am sick. When I'm sick I just really don't have the motivation to start doing this. Today I'm finally starting this thing. I've had sicknesses and excuses and everything. Now I'm going to do it. Day three, just finished my cup of coffee or well, you know, coffee as it is now. I'm feeling good. No caffeine withdrawal whatsoever yet. I probably have half of the amount of coffee that would be a normal cup right now. So I've got it to 50% in two days. All good so far. This is what I use with decaf coffee to give it more taste and to reduce the amount of actual coffee in it. It's chicory. It has been used during wartime as a coffee substitute and uh, it's still I think in some part of Eastern Europe used. It's okay, like it tastes okay, but it's no way as good as coffee. Day five, things have gone flawless this time. That's like all the coffee left, like that is not much. I feel a very slight annoyance. My body is telling me that I would have needed just a little bit more of caffeine. Day 8. I've gone my amount of caffeine to like a teeny tiny amount. Today for the first time I'm not drinking any coffee whatsoever. However, I'm eating two pieces of dark chocolate. As I ate two of these, it's 10 milligrams for me. Day 10. This is my first day without any caffeine whatsoever. 
I really just want to drink coffee. I do. I miss the taste of coffee. What has happened since 9 a.m. when I drank the chicory is I have got more and more annoyed. It's not a big headache, but it's like a medium size. So I went to the store and now I'm going to try to trick my brain. I bought caffeine-free Pepsi. Maybe my brain will think that I'm drinking actual cola, which has caffeine in it. I don't know. Also, there are sweeteners in it, so maybe they help. I don't know. And then I bought some sugar, another highly addictive substance. Maybe that will like soften the annoyance. Yesterday, basically the whole day, I felt irritated. Like now, I feel okay. I feel teeny tiny bit like I want caffeine, but I hope that it's not going to escalate like it did yesterday. It's the evening and uh, I have a headache again. It's not as much as yesterday, but goddamn, how resilient is my body in wanting to get caffeine? It's crazy. I really thought this would be over by now. I just want this to be over with. I, I want to have a normal day. I really hope this day will be okay, but I said that yesterday and the day before. It's kind of weird. Your body just forgets that it needs caffeine in the night. Like right now I feel totally normal and it yesterday and the day before. But then when the day goes forward, your body starts to remember. Today has been a totally normal day. And I cannot tell how good it feels. I feel so much more positive, so much more alive, so much more like life is good today than the two days before. I think we we are done with this. I'm finally out of caffeine dependency. Yeah, not so fast. The day after this, I again felt irritated the whole day. The day after that, I was totally fine. And then the day after that, I was again irritated. Like the irritation just wouldn't go away. It felt relentless. But as the days went on, so did the symptoms, finally. So what does life look like for me now? Well, I think I have actually have more energy. And I'm not just saying this. Like, especially in the afternoon and in the evening. During those times I'd get tired because I used to drink coffee only in the morning. Now I feel like I have the same energy throughout the day. For a week now I have drank decaf coffee. I found a decaf coffee that just tastes like real coffee. I have to say, it's like, it's totally the same for me now when I drink that in the morning. It gives me an energy boost, which is super weird. But I, do, I don't miss caffeine, not a single bit, not one bit. The only thing I miss is chocolate. Like, I used to eat dark chocolate almost every day. I still haven't reintroduced it. I have had zero caffeine after the challenge and I'm kind of afraid to go down the chocolate road even though I know like it wouldn't be bad for me. If you enjoy my content you know what to do. I don't have to tell you to subscribe. If you want to see more you will do it by yourself. Now I told you to do it even though that was not my intent and now I could have deleted this part while editing the video but I didn't. I just leave it because I want you to subscribe. I do. But I don't want you to subscribe if you don't want to subscribe. What? Okay, it's way too late. Good night. No more coffee.